Hi, I'm Mark Moros from the Gazette, Jeremiah Davis from the Gazette, and here is our three and out for Iowa going into Minnesota this week. It's a big week. Uh, first off, everybody wanted ch-ch-ch-changes after Saturday's game, probably on the depth chart, probably offensive tackle, gave up four sacks, probably safety, a couple safety positions, <laughs> gave up a lot of stuff. Anticipate any starting lineup changes? Um, nothing major, but you know, you never rule anything out. We'll see how the practice goes this week. You know, unless a guy is just flat out not getting it done or is really struggling, you know, if, if they're out there, uh, you know, drowning in the ocean, you try to throw a life preserver in there for sure and, uh, you know, get a guy out of there. But, um, you know, there, there are ups and downs in everything you do, and you have to work through those ups and downs. If, you know, we feel a player isn't capable, yeah, then we'll, you know, we'll make a change that way. Or if, you know, someone else, we see them ascending, we'll give them opportunity also. And then, you know, health issues a lot of times factor into that. And then, you know, guys will take opportunity and run. Iowa doesn't really make a living off of changes in the depth chart. It's some, they're few and far between. Jeremiah were and I were talking about on cam off camera that uh, Bethard was one. Right. Happened in January. Right. Uh, ben Neiman, uh, Bo Bauer at outside linebacker. Happened in January. Actually happened in the third quarter of the Tax Slayer Bowl. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> but Iowa and changes, it sounds like it's just going to be more and more, you know, I don't want to say the same, but it's it, they, they get more self-focused they get more right. uh they don't throw guys off the bus that's well, that's that's not fair to style right and i mean he wanted what he said today was the there's nothing gonna gonna happen that's gonna be dramatic you know you keep hammering away at things and i know people don't necessarily want to hear that because when you see they something don't. when you see something it, the definition of insanity right doing the same thing Absolutely. over and over is insane and so when they don't want to hear that out of kirk ferentz but he has his way of doing things mm -hmm. and I, I mean agree or disagree it's worked before. It's is not it, going to change. Right. It's not going to change. It's just not going to. And there's a lot of disagreement. <laughs> right, so there is right. that. Another factor I thought, and uh, last week was, uh, it was the first time you heard Ferentz talk about Bethard holding on, CJ Bethard quarterback, holding out of the ball a little bit too long. You know, I'm probably soft pedaling it. Uh, it was part of the problem. Yeah. And I think getting to the point where, you know, I tried to ask uh, Ferentz about Bethard, getting to the point where he's feeling again, where he can kind of sling it or just kind of make plays. And right now, uh, getting unlocking Bethard seems to be an, an issue for him, for the offense, and a little bit of everything. Yeah, we're going to do some, some things, uh, try and, like, you know, like I said earlier, get the ball out quicker, um, you know, protect better, and, and do a lot of stuff like that. Uh, and like I said before, was, you know, third and longer situations are, are, are tougher, but um, you know, we've got to do better at the same time. and, and um, you know, we can all help uh, help improve that as, as quarterback and off the line, as running backs and receivers and, and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you're, not, you're never going to be clean, 100% clean. Um, there's going to be, I, mean, I guarantee you, there's, there's going to be times where I am going to get pressured and you know, maybe have to move or whatever, but that, that's part of every game. I don't know a game that I've, that right. you know, anybody's been able to just sit back there all day and, and not get touched. Um, that's part of football, but we do need to eliminate, um, you know, sacks and, and we can all can help. Uh, at improving that and eliminating that. Uh, Bethard seems like he's in his head a lot this year, um, a lot more than compared to last year. You know, a couple of those sacks he took, he didn't move. He, he stood there for a minute. And, right. that's, and that's something that, you know, when you ask the, either him or Kirk Ferentz about it, they're not going to give us the, an, the, the real answer about what's going on. Right. They're not going to give us the actual fix. Third one is uh, Iowa season's at a crossroads. Uh, the, the players out there, you know, I asked that question to several players because I'm going to write about it. And they all know every game matters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every game matters, sure. But uh, th th there's, there's a road, and this is a crossing, and it's 2016, and this is a crossroads game for 2016. Right. It really is. I'm just not sure why it's a big deal to say this is a must win. I don't understand where, like, maybe they've been uh, talked to about that, and that this is a focus they need to have right. going forward. That right. if you're, if you're going to be focused on this game and this game only, of course every game is a must win. But we're all human beings, and we can see the schedule. Like, it's not a stretch to say, yeah, they have to win this game. Right. And I think they know that. They just yeah. don't really want to say it, maybe to convince themselves as much as anything. Akram was the only one who did say right. it's a must win. But if you look at the schedule, look at what the games the games they've lost. They lost two games in Kinnick. Right. Uh, North Dakota State and Northwestern, two teams that were favored by more than two touchdowns right. against. 
red flags, people. Red <laughs> flags everywhere. Not right. red jacket. Red flags. <laughs> and uh, uh, the Iowa's the meat of Iowa's schedule is November. Right. Minnesota, you look at the schedule and look what Minnesota is and was and has been. It's a gettable game. If Iowa goes up there and flubs, I think you could cross off uh, Big Ten uh, West Division off off the list this year. Certainly makeable. Are those those are two fairness? Makeable, uh, winnable. Uh, certainly makeable. It's all a bull. Um, <laughs> for Jeremiah, this is Mark Morehouse. Thanks for watching.